Understanding Body Isolation, a Language Learning Guide. Hello everyone, welcome to our English Language Learning Series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating term, body isolation. This phrase might sound a bit technical, but don't worry, we'll break it down together. So, let's dive in and understand what body isolation really means. Body isolation refers to the ability to move one part of the body independently of the others. It's a term often used in dance and physical fitness, but in everyday language, it can describe any action where you control a single part of your body without affecting the rest. For example, nodding your head while keeping the rest of your body still is a form of body isolation. Let's look at some common examples. 1. Waving a hand. When you wave goodbye, you're isolating your hand and arm movements from the rest of your body. 2. Tapping your foot. When listening to music, you might tap your foot while the rest of your body remains still. 3. Facial expressions. Smiling or frowning without moving other parts of your face is also a form of body isolation. Body isolation isn't just a physical skill. It plays a crucial role in nonverbal communication. For instance, a nod, isolating head movement, can indicate agreement, and a shrug, isolating shoulder movement, can express uncertainty or indifference. Recognizing and understanding these subtleties can significantly enhance interpersonal communication. Different cultures might use body isolation in unique ways. For example, a gesture like nodding might mean, yes, in one culture, but, no, in another. Understanding these differences is vital for effective cross-cultural communication. And that's a wrap on body isolation. We hope this video has shed some light on this interesting term and its various implications in everyday life and communication. Remember, language learning isn't just about words. It's also about understanding the nuances of body language and nonverbal cues. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.